how to write the query to implement the concept of integrity constraint. Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and today we are going to discuss about integrity constraint and how can we write the query to implement them. So integrity constraints are set of rules. It is used to maintain the quality of information. Integrity constraint is used to guard against the accidental damage of database. Constraint can be defined in two ways. The first way is the constraint can be specified immediately after column definition. That is called column level definition. And the constraint can be specified after the columns are defined. That is table level definition. Database constraints are primary key, foreign key, check constraint, unique constraint and not null constraint. We are going to discuss it one by one. Firstly is a primary key. What do we mean by a primary key? A primary key is a column or a group of columns used to identify a row uniquely in a table. A primary key constraint is a combination of not null and unique constraint together. Suppose the syntax is uh, create table, table name, the column along with the data type and you mention the primary key constraint. Other way to do that is you can just specify the constraint when you alter the table by adding primary key after creating the table. So there are two ways in which you can do it, column view and table level view. So if I create a table product items having product number, item number, product number and uh, the integer quantity, net price in numeric, having primary key as PO number is having the primary key. So if I want to create this table, I will run this command in my command, MySQL command line. So the query is okay and no rows are affected yet because we have not inserted any value to the table right now. Next is we can add by altering the table also but right now we have already mentioned the primary key so we are no need to alter it. We can remove the primary key of a table also and how can we do that? We can do that by doing that alter table table name drop constraint primary key constraint. So we can remove the primary key by doing that also. Next is foreign key. So what do we mean by foreign key? It is also a referential integrity constraint. This constraint identifies any column referencing the primary key. For a column to be defined as foreign key, it should be defined as a primary key in the table which is referring. One or more columns can be defined as a foreign key. For example, if we are creating table orders, order ID has not null constraint, order number it is also not null. Person ID is primary key is order ID. The ID of the order is the primary key over here and it is the foreign key and it references the persons of person ID of the person table. So that is how we mention a foreign key to the table. For that I have to create a table name persons then only this query could be executed otherwise this query is runnable and executable. You can define or group columns as a foreign key too. You can create a table and then you can mention the fields and then you can group the foreign keys of the columns such as C2 and C3 are together the foreign key referencing the parent table and you can drop the constraint similarly as you have dropped for primary key, you can drop that for foreign key too. Now, what is the use of check constraints? What does check constraints do? Suppose you want to check the value and that value must has to be in that table. For that, we use the check constraint. This constraint define a business role rule in a column. All the role rules must satisfy this rule. The constant can be applied for a single column or a group of columns. The syntax is column name, data type, constraint and the constraint name. For example, if you want to apply it on the person's table, you can add the constraint check over age that is greater than 18. So here it is done on person's table but we will do that on 
PO items table only. So you can see here that I have altered the table PO items which I have already created and I have applied check constraint on the net price and when I hit this command the query is ok and no rows are affected because there are no entries in the table but check constraint is applied on net price that the net price has to be greater than or equal to 18. Similarly I can drop this constraint also by alter table PO items and drop check on which you have applied that you can remove that constraint also. We will see how we can do it by using drop check from that percentage or in which we have used item numbers or the price we can use by that too. Next is the unique constraint and the unique constraint is a constraint ensured that a column or a group of columns in each row have a distinct value and the value should be unique it should not be uh, you know same as the other column values it has to be unique and a column have null values but the values cannot be duplicated you can leave a column you cannot specify the column value there you can have null value over there but you cannot have duplicated value in that column so that is the use of unique constraint for example in this table alter table and add constraint uh, to the person having unique ID and last name. So we will see it according to our table which we have created that is PO items. Let's see how. So you can see that I have applied the unique constraint. The constraint name is QU and I have added constraint QU that is unique to PO number. That means the product number should be unique. It should not have any duplicacy. You can have null value fields but you cannot enter any duplicate values it has to be unique for removing that constraint if you want to drop that constraint then you have to do is alter the table name alter table table name and then you can drop the constraint having the constraint name you can drop it let's see how to do it I have run the queries of alter table you can see here and the index QU that means the unique constraint which I have created I have dropped it that means now it doesn't have that constraint so similarly you can add a constraint and you can drop a constraint too. Next is a not null that how not null constraint works so not null as the name simplifies that the value cannot have been nulled you have to mention something so that the value can be further stored into the table of the database that means this constraint ensures all the rows in table contain a definite value for the column which is specified as not null which means a null value is not allowed what we have to do to do it it is that uh, create a table naming invoice having an id product key and not null to be mentioned and check is also mentioned here that the value should be greater than zero of quantity and not null is mentioned in the product id and also in the quantity it should be not null so we can uh, do it and for altering the constant for setting it not null that is also done over here so if i want to create a table invoice let's see that this query is executed yes the query is executed that means these are the constraint you can also check by using the describe command that you can describe your table invoice and when you hit the command you can see that it is having the constraint null no it cannot be not null and the product id is also not null also the primary key has been mentioned to here and which is auto incremented that is this serial serial means it is incremented automatically similarly not null constant can be used and we can revoke it also by setting set that column to not null we can revoke the not null constant to the columns of table so in this module we have learned about how to use several constant of database that is primary key foreign key check unique and not null constant in further videos we will do more queries thank you